Good morning, modern statters. It's gonna be another hot one today. They're calling for it to be in the 90s again. Right now it's 58 degrees out, and the pigs are loving it. You guys like this nice cool weather in the morning? Let's get you rooting up over here, huh? They haven't even been in this area a week yet. What's it been? Five days so far? You do realize there's two sides to this feeder, right? You're so talkative this morning, little man. Huh? Yeah, you're all so talkative. Yesterday I got done putting the roof on the main part of the barn. Ah, that feels good, guys. We won't have to be going up there. I shouldn't say anymore. I'll have to get up on the roof and button up a few more things here and there. But for the most part, all the big main roof structure is done. We'll be putting the roof on the eave overhangs when we get to those parts, but it's going to be a lot easier than the, the part we just did. It's nice to be starting phase two of the barn project. I'm looking forward to it. Good girl. You ready? You want to smell alfalfa? Is that some good stuff? Little piece like, yep. Maggie's like, I'll finish up what you didn't get. You've had enough, Willow. Hi. Okay, little P, the other goats are gonna come in. <laughs> Willow's like, watch out. Willow's no fool. She's like, I know there's more coming. I know there's more coming. Morning, Figaro. There's been a few chickens every night lately that don't want to sleep inside New York City. I'm thinking they like the nice fresh air at night. I want some fresh greens. Here's the trail where the meat birds were. I love seeing the dark green and the light green on either side. Not only do we get some organic pasture-raised meat from the birds, they fertilize our fields for us too. Such a win-win. Morning, we're gonna start building the eave overhang on the left side of the barn. So I need to clean up a little bit and I want to make sure I blow out the holes that we drilled into the concrete for our anchor bolt. There's probably water and dirt in there. I'm afraid if we don't blow them out we could end up blowing out the concrete trying to force these in. There's stuff in the holes so don't let me forget that part. A lot of the wood we have sitting back here under the clear top we're gonna to need this morning. The other stuff is extras. So we gotta find a place for that. And I'm not sure what's under the blue tarp. If you're new 
new to our channel in the barn build, we're building a post and beam barn kit that we bought off the internet. There'll be links in the description down below. We got it from Jamaica Cottage Shops. We're on phase two this morning of the build. These are all extra two by sixes. We're not gonna need them anytime soon. Let's put them in the barn. We got a roof on it now. We don't worry about our lumber getting wet. Get everything swept off and cleaned. Try not to get the dirt in the holes. Yeah, see, that hole's full of water. We don't want to forget to do this part. Yikes. I gotcha. We got a friend coming over today to give us a hand. Hey Morgan, how you doing today? Glad to be here, Al. Thanks for coming over and giving Absolutely me a hand not. today. No, happy to help. Thank you. This is our friend Morgan from Goldshaw Farm. He came over last year and we helped us plant chestnuts. Was there another variety? They both elderberries too. We yeah. did the elderberry bush and, and the then chestnut. butternut, right? And butternut. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. Was. Yep. So we got those trees over in our other pasture, and today he's gonna give us a hand setting in some of our sill plates and the heavier six by sixes. You ready to get to work? Let's do it, man. All right, let's All right. go. Filled with the podcast. Uh, so first, I just need to get all of our anchor bolts put in. Need to have them sticking out an inch and a half. Pretty, we've gotten pretty tight. They're, they're good people. All right. Uh, wait, two and a quarter. Yep. Boom. Perfect. Are you going to the Home Desert of America conference this year? Yeah, I'm definitely doing it. You are? Are you? I don't know yet. So, uh, yeah, so I'm definitely going to go down. I want to hold the tape measure on the siding because we got to go eight feet from the outside of the siding. We are eight feet there. Okay, so we're an inch in. Perfect. Do you still have your Sharpie? So if you want to go ahead of me and drill three Drill that hole all the way through. I'll go behind you and do a step down.
So let's set this little one down here for now. Take this one and this will be the bottom. Just watch your fingers. Yeah, one more roll. Okay. Like so. And then this one will go down there. You need to go your way? Yeah. One more. Another inch. Cool. All right, I'll set eight feet from the siding. Go down this end. That's perfect right there. I'll lag that one in place. Come back to me a little bit. Oops. To me, just a smidge. Right there is good. Cool. Eight and one sixteenth. If you want to hold it on the siding, just make sure we have eight feet. Right there. this one up to the outside. All right, let's find the posts that we need. All right, all right let's lay out. We're gonna need these four. If you want to take this one, I'll take. Like oh. this. We'll get them set where they're gonna go. This one all the way down to that end. Set it right here. Just set it. We'll set it right here. Yeah. Keep your end back here. I'll go this way. There we go. And then this one. Go in the middle. So we can just set right here. I just got two alerts on my phone for severe thunderstorm watch. But it was nice having a hand. Hey man, Thanks glad to be here. Over. Thanks for letting me help you with your fancy right. barn. So, let's get these six by sixes covered up. I don't want to get them too wet. I already brought our post in the barn. We don't want them getting wet.
you goats better enjoy your birch leaves while you can. It's getting pretty dark over there. Yeah, it's coming down now. I saw the wind blew off the cover I had over the hay. So let's go stick the hay in the hay feeder. And we'll see if we got any leaks in the roof. There we go. <laughs> this rain is some cold. <sighs> no, we're not going to leave the roof like that. You'll see how the roof line is going to work in the next phase. Woo! Coming in the door, coming in there. But the roof itself is not leaking. I got the chills now, it feels good. It was 90 degrees out before this rain came in. Yeah, that's thunder. The grass is starting to grow where the pigs were last time. Oh, it's going to make a nice addition to the lawn, pasture, whatever we use it for. I like it. And just like that, the rain is gone. I've been so busy with the barn lately, I haven't given you guys any updates about the vegetable garden. Luckily, Gina's been taking good care of that. Hey, okay. go weed it. Go for weed. Okay. Don't pull it right now. Yeah, but look how good your plants are doing. Yeah, but... They're huge. Yeah, Alright, we'll come back when you're done weeding. But these are looking awesome. Look at that. We got some nice fine and cucumber plants going on right here. The herbs are growing. What's over here again? It's lettuce and spinach. Lettuce and spinach. Our green beans are doing good. Oh, look at all the little tiny green beans right there. Look at them all. Garlic is doing good. Beets are looking delicious. We're getting a bunch of strawberries. And then our, we got a lot of tomatoes growing. Oh, that's a nice looking tomato right here. Pepper plants are doing good. They're starting to flower. Nice. We're getting some peppers this year. Look at that. Oh, I'm liking it. Look at all those tomatoes. We finally got a couple of weeks of warm weather and now the garden is jamming. Now I wish I planted more stuff. Now you wish you planted more? Yeah, but we had weather in. The weather has been yeah, terrible. Got the garden looking good. Getting dirty. Getting dirty. I'll go get some straw and we'll mulch the cucumbers and summer squash and zucchini a little bit so we don't gotta weed them as much. Look at that. We got some baby zucchinis growing on. And more flowers. And right there. And more flowers. Sweet. The herbs in the window box are all doing really well. We got what, chives here, cilantro, dill, oregano, parsley, rosemary, sweet basil, and thyme. And everything has sprouted so far. Got a little bit of rosemary right there. The meat birds are doing good. Growing like crazy already. Yeah, you got a chicken. 
How many eggs do you think we'll get today? Um, 19. 19? Watch out. Yeah, do your job. He hasn't been lately. It's been disappointing me. Go get the chicken. Go. He stopped. He's too busy herding Pluto. It doesn't go as far as when you do it. Oh. Stop not thinking about it. Oh, Jesus. Is there a chicken in there? <laughs> I don't want to just put my pee. <laughs> I'm not reaching under it. I don't know what I thought that like was tan. I don't even know. You just weren't expecting a chicken. Good. Look at all them eggs. Seven. Nine. Ten. Oh. I'm gonna be almost right. I should have said twenty. Twelve. Nice and hot. Fourteen. Sixteen. Twenty. Twenty. I was going to say 20 and then I started 19. That's a good amount. So what are we going to eat? Eggs, eggs, and more eggs. I wanted to thank our friend Morgan from Goldshaw Farm for coming over today and giving us a hand. He did a video while he was here and he was asking me a bunch of questions about the barn and different things. If you want to see that video, I'm going to put a link to that at the end of this video right here. Go on over, check it out. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm going to be going over and watching it. When you're over there, say hi to Morgan and thank him for giving us a hand today. It's always nice to have an extra set of hands when you get some heavy 6x6 posts to lift. So. Thanks again, Morgan, for that. It was great to have you over here. I can't wait to have you over again and go over to sometime and check out your farm. Gina's been doing a great job on the garden. I can't believe how big some of these plants have been getting. The warmer nights we've been having, you can actually see the next morning how much the squash plants and everything has grown, which is just crazy. Right here you see in the pasture, I was able to mow half of it the other day. And when I cut right down where all this like thick grass is at the bottom, I tried mowing that. It's pretty wet. I got the Kubota stuck. I didn't have the camera on me, so I didn't see it. Luckily, I was able to push myself out with the bucket of the tractor. So I wanted to thank Lyle for that. When I got stuck in the snow, he Facebook messaged me and told me, hey, next time you get stuck with the Kubota, use your the bucket of the Kubota and you'll never get stuck again. So thanks for that, Lyle. I was able to get out. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. I am excited to be on to the second phase of the barn. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy this part. This is where I'll, we'll be housing all of the animals. So thanks for coming along, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.